from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Okay, let's get started. It's time for Hey, come on. terrible going on. I love you more, thank you. Thank you for being here. Look, th look, th th well, I feel like I was put together. So look, I, I feel beautiful. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> There's something horrible going on in the kingdom of celebrity. And we must talk. Britney Spears has two sons. One is 14 and one is 13. Well, the 13-year-old went on Instagram Live last night. Oh. Co-host, don't clap if you don't mean it. Clap if you know about this. Okay, only two. All right, then let me put you onto the game. And you only know because we saw it together. That's my niece over there in my mother's chair. Okay. <laughs> This is the real news, Alex. You might work for ABC Miami with your stories of fires and robberies and uh, other stuff, but this is the news. Pay attention, pay attention. Where's, where's Travis? Oh, he didn't want to come out after all? Look, I have one niece and one nephew and I treasure them both. They're both in their 20s. I'm a mess, but they're messier. <laughs> and, and all I can be is Aunt Wen. Yeah, uh-huh. Anyhow, here's the real news. So he went on Instagram Live last night and talked about his parents, his grandfather, he called the D word ending with a K, that's a man's private part. Let me, let me tell you something about this little disrespectful 13 year old. And you know, that's that age that we've all been 13. But what do you do with a kid at this point? You know, he called his father, I can't even say it, so I'll just say, hey, Seuss. Como estas? <laughs> to, to my Spanish friends. Yeah, he, he called his father, hey, Seuss. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> talked about his mom like he loves his mom, but he talked about his mom in a wobbly way. Like, I'm not so sure about mom, but I'll always love her, which made me feel, like, just weird, you know what I mean? Suzanne? Yeah. I see What's, Jesus. What's that? Yeah, one well, over there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I see uh -huh. one too. Uh -huh. Wow, your hair is really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, no, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's, it's, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. How you doing? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before I play you this, by the way, I'm sorry I'm distracted, I always am. Why is my Governor Murphy over in Jersey? Now, I'm, I feel so horrible, you know, because he's got the thing on his kidney and he's getting operated on today. But where's he getting the operation? Not in Jersey. He's getting it right here in New York. 
Governor Murphy, you're the governor. And I understand, from what I understand, Norman, you were explaining all of his doctors are in New York. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Right. Like, I, like, I don't care. Uh -huh. You know, you are the king of, if you're the governor, you're the king of Jersey, I'm the queen. Yeah. In my mind, right. in my mind. Right. Although I don't live there anymore because neither does love. And, and my doctors are, and, and now if I had an operation, it'd be right. done right over here. I have no reason to go there except for a, a good old lunchtime procedure with my. <laughs> that, that, I mean, you know, she's the best. But look, so he's getting his operation here in New York. Now, Jersey, I don't know how you feel about this. I feel a ways. You couldn't go to St. Barnabas. You couldn't go to some of these, those good health care. Clap if you're from Jersey. All right, like five of us. <laughs> Clap if you're offended. You're not, all right, no, all of it, not just Jersey. Clap if you're offended, if you're like. <laughs> well, I wish him well, you know, I just wish that he would have found one of the great doctors in Jersey, the great hospital facilities, the whole bit, you could have gotten done in Jersey to really give your heart up to the Garden State. <laughs> Hi, Jersey. No, love, I'm a cancer, and I'm from Jersey. No matter what happens, yeah, that's me. Back to Brittany. No, you all always try to test me to see if I'm gonna forget something. <laughs> I forget a lot, but I don't forget much. Like, did you know Uncle Fester is who um, Corey was talking about? <gasps> what? Coogan, Jackie Coogan. Jackie Coogan was on The Little Rascals, but I was like, no, I know that name for something else. I know that name for something else. I, I think that was Uncle Fester from the um, Adams Family. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Jackie Coogan was part of the uh, kid too. Mm -hmm. I don't want any parts of that. <laughs> Corey was a fabulous guest. Yeah, he was great. He was, he was so giving. And thank you, New York Post, for putting that in this morning. And thank you to people who acknowledge that he was a great guest. And, and thank you to people who were watching that said, wow, more power to him. More, it, it, I mean, it was, anyway, Corey, um, but back to Brittany, okay. <laughs> so Brittany's son talked about whether or not his mother will ever do music again. By the way, Hot Topics got sick of this after about 17 minutes, but there was more footage to go. But Probably. You, but you all walked out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, take a look at this 13-year-old. Mm -hmm. I remember one time she, I asked her, what, Mom, what happened to your music? And she was like, I don't know, honey, I think I might just quit it. I'm like, what? What are you saying? Like, do you know how much bank you make off of that stuff? Like, Will you get in trouble for doing this? No, I mean, my dad doesn't care. I have the best dad ever. My dad's literally Jesus. What's going on with my mom? Um, I'll tell you guys the whole story for my mom and stuff if I get 5,000 followers. Time out, you mean get out. <laughs> get out. I really don't know what to say regarding that. I don't like to bash kids, but he's acting like an adult. He wants your $5,000. He's also got a YouTube channel that he wants you to tune in on. He needs more followers and he needs money to uh, tell his mom's story. What, what are you talking about, kid? You didn't hear the part where he called his grandfather a D. That was, to me, the most hurtful part, because Jamie has done nothing but just try to take care of his daughter and the family and the whole bit. And maybe the 13-year-old was upset because I think a month or two ago, we talked about it on Hot Topics, the grandfather Jamie came to blows with the 14-year-old, the 14-year-old. But, but you know, when they, when they pop off, sometimes if grandpa has got a good left hook. <laughs> <clears throat> this is
is just a horrible story. It's very disrespectful. It insinuates that mom is not well, something that we already know, but we're down with Britney, you know. But Britney doesn't need this extra string on her worry ward right, bag. Right, right. <laughs> All right, let's move along. <clears throat> Stevie J oh. is calling out Love and Hip Hop Miami Glam Squad. Now, I don't know who you all are that put the girls together, but Stevie says the ladies wear bad weaves and bad makeup. Oh. Now, 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 look here, look, look here. First of all, Stevie, and you know I love you, but this is not a man's business. Oh. Now, you sit down, sit down. Stevie's all like, he tweeted, he tweeted this. He's like, ladies need to retire lace front from Love and Hip Hop Miami, except PM. Now PM is Madonna, prima donna. Mm -hmm. Fire hair and makeup immediately. Have our beautiful sisters looking nuts out here. You know what, Stevie? I'll call you later. <laughs> then Trick Daddy jumps in. No, 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 hold on now. Cause Trick, Trick was walking, but then got all the way into the camera. <laughs> you know Trick is an OG from back in the day. He's scared of nothing. Uh, hi, Trick. Um, Trick Daddy says he didn't like Stevie J's comments, and here's what he had to say. Take a look. And then you get on social media and you comment about girls from Miami on Love and Hip Hop Miami. Now it's getting personal. That means you a girl dog. The next girl dog say something, I'm gonna slap the at you like you a bitch. You hear me, boy? Well, apparently Stevie saw this and he later clarified with his tweet. Take a look. Yeah, I said what I said earlier in hopes to get the attention of the executives who's handling our hair and makeup for our beautiful Latina and black on um, women, and men for that matter. Um, listen, my job here is done. I'm sure y'all will be looking awesome. Like Stevie's that guy you wanna hate. You know what I'm saying? But I gotta tell you, being a, like a regular, all right, maybe twice a month we talk, but in my phone, he's charming. Not for me, but for, like he's charming, you know what I'm saying? But Stevie, mm-mm, mm-mm. This is none of your business. And Meek Mill, by the way, um, did this a few years ago, talking about he wants women to stop, well, now here's his new thing. Stop twerking. Well, I agree. I don't understand what's going on out here. Why does everything have to start with a dance move? You, you, you understand? <laughs> He tweeted, twerking is like, listen to this, a guy with a big stack of money hanging out of his pockets so everyone can see. I'm tired of seeing all that bleep. Well, maybe because he's not with Nikki anymore because he probably liked it back then. I don't, I don't know, but I, I do agree. Like everything other than here, Suzanne, you know what I'm saying? If we didn't have twerking, there'd be no Wendy Williams show here. No, no, oh, no, no, no. We need the twerking. We love it. We like the twerk. Uh -huh. We like the full splits. Yes. We like death drops. Yes. As a matter of fact, does anybody, would anybody like to examine, can, can somebody twerk now? Can somebody uh -oh. pull up to an aisle? Then the, the get in the aisle. Oh. Marco, Marco, Marco! Go, go! Get up! Marco! Marco! Go up there, grab him out, have him walk down. Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay, oh, it's her. her. It was a man at first. Okay, both of them. Let's have a twerk off. Let me, let me tell you something around here. All right, I'll do the music. Three, two, one, and doom, 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 uh-huh. Thank you, you all. 
All right, thank you, you guys. See, Alex, that's the news. This, this, this is the news. It, not uh, uh, tornadoes and what you do. I mean, that's important, but not, but that right there is levity. Okay, so Marco's wearing a Knicks jersey. It's bringing me to my friend, uh, Charles Oakley, who I talked to this morning regarding Spike Lee. I'm totally on Spike Lee's side. You all know this story. Is that why you're wearing the jersey? Yeah. Like, what are you doing? So Spike, in case you haven't heard, he got, went to a Knicks game. The Knicks are a horrible team this year, but if you're a Knicks fan, then you ride with them. Spike has been a, a ticket season holder for 28 years, 28 years. So he went to MSG, Madison Square Garden, um, on Monday, and he was blocked from using the employee entrance that he's been using for all 28 years. Oh. There's a VIP entrance, he didn't use that, but a VIP entrance is like if me and you went to a game. Uh, you know, we might be a V and an I and a P, but, but we, we're, not hold, we're not that special. You know, special is when you invest in the tickets and ride with the team, whether they win or they lose. Spike Lee is different from the rest of all the Knicks fans. Rambo, would you agree? He's a different kind of dude. You don't care. I see both sides in this. I don't. <laughs> Marco, do you understand what I'm saying? Marco, if you and I went to see the Knicks, we're just going. We can go through the VIP entrance. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's where everybody goes. But Spike Lee, yeah. He's like the seventh man. Isn't that what they call it in basketball? Six, seventh, yeah. The, the sixth, oh, whatever. Yeah. The sixth man. <laughs> right? 100%. So, all right, take a look, and then I'm gonna tell you what I talked to Oak about. Go ahead. But no one told me. No one told me. No one told me. I'm staying here. Now, you want to arrest me like Charles Oakley, you're going to go to death. Come on. Or you arrest me like you're going to put your hand on my back like holy. So, I agree with Spike. I'm, I'm sorry that he had to yell and argue like that. I kind of don't like to see him do that. And I don't really know Spike Lee like that. You know, I've heard that Spike is a jerk a lot of times. I don't, I don't know him like that other than I interviewed him when I was in radio days and he was standoffish, shall we say. But the point is he's made a lot of stuff that we all like, and Spike loves the Knicks. And the idea that they had him wanna go outside, go around the block, and come through another entrance after 28 years rocking with this team that's not winning? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> So I called Oak this morning. I was just, I, like when I woke up and I'm still seeing it on the news this morning, I'm like, all right, he mentioned Oakley in it. You know our friend, Charles Oakley. So Oak is a Knicks legend. And um, I called Oak. Oak was in the car already on his way to ESPN. So he's sounding off about this all day long. You know, um, they tried to peg Oak for being a drunk, threw him out ban him from MSG forever. Look, look, this is where the, the security's dragging Oak out. And Oak is like, what the hell's going on? Now, um, anyway, I think that's it. Is there anything else that I forgot to say about that? Uh, no, your mic is not working. Oh. Yeah, now that's pretty much it. Yeah. Poor Spike Lee. Yeah. You know what I forgot to mention to you? Because I get out here and I, I tell you a story and sometimes I leave off uh, bullet points that, and then I get home and I'm like, damn, I forgot to say that part. Remember when I was telling you the other day I went shopping with two girlfriends? We went to the department store and I did say that I bought a negligee and you know, we had a nice time and we had lunch and it was like real nice. And I, then I said that um, I was told that we were followed by security. The part about that, this is probably the most important part because now it's gotten pickup and I'm just like, okay, let me explain this on Hot Topics. I can't even type this through the Instagram because I told you I gave it up for let, like, you all figure out social media on your own around here. I'm not, no. Um, let me tell you something. We were in the store. I hadn't been in that particular department store 
in 20 years. The reason why is because first of all, that was um, BF, I mean BS, before surgery <laughs> or something. No, actually, no, I had a little something done, but the point is I was, I was always gonna be a big girl. They took me immediately to the big girl department and I felt intense security around me in this store. And I said, not only don't I like this neighborhood, I don't like this store, I'm not going back there. I hadn't been back there in 20 years. My two girlfriends from out of town wanted to go there. And I'm like, oh, okay, all right, all right. Well, I'll meet you there. You know, it was just uh, in, out, done. We get to the store, totally different atmosphere. I felt no hot breath on my neck. We each had our own salespeople. Um, I had, you know, cause you know how I like to lean on a man to teeter? I had my teeterer. <laughs> cause I asked, I was like, come over here, come on. Come on, let's go on the escalator. Cause if it stops fast, you'll break my fall. And it, it, you know, like that. And, and, and it wasn't until, and, and we, had a, we had lunch, shopped, treated really well. I even asked for a few freebies cause I'm the girl with the nerve to do that. Like I'm spending this. All right, well I want that for nothing. But you know what they do? They bundle it up and put it in the bag. When we got out to the sidewalk, all three of us had three different car services. Mine to take me back to my apartment, theirs to take them wherever they were going. And, but they had, you know, their three car, mine arrived first. The girls walked me out to the sidewalk. I got my bags, I get in the car, booty on the seat in the car, right? We're hugging and cheek kissing and you know, saying goodbye. And one of them says, you realize we were followed the whole time. Uh, that's, yeah, that's the part I left out of my story. I, Cause a lot of you all are like, well, Wendy, if you say you were followed, why did you buy anything? And I'm like, cause I didn't know anything about that. And furthermore, uh, there's some people who have their eyes on that kind of stuff that like just, you know, when you're born brown, it's just a natural, thing that you don't want to understand, but when you, but I'm smart enough to understand when I was treated graciously. When I tell you gracious, I'll go back there. Uh-huh. Today, maybe. <laughs> like, so, so that's the story. I didn't feel any of that. I didn't see any following. I, you know, sometimes when you're used to the followization of life, that's all you can think about, if you know what I'm saying. But no, I, uh, Suzanne, does that make sense? Yes, it does make sense. You had a lovely time there. Mm -hmm. Lovely. It looked lovely. After 20 years. Uh-huh. Cause I went in there with a the squinty eye, like, yeah. okay. Yeah. What's going on around here? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Left like mm -hmm. a bullion. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Only to get double kisses on the cheek, talking mm -hmm. about we were followed. Mm -hmm. I said, I didn't feel any of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you all are talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You all are reading that all, this the whole me too, kid too mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. racism too and all that stuff. It's it hasn't changed much, but it's changed a few things. Nortman, does that make sense? It makes sense. All right, well, I'm being cut off. <laughs> <laughs> Hot Topics is officially over. Aww. No, 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 because something is about to happen and I am in for it. Have you ever had the glazed donuts with the chicken in the middle? <laughs> Have you ever had tea with cheese in it? <laughs> but I'll try. Have you ever had the most delicious looking Sunday situation ever with the ice cream? Well, these are the things that my friend Food God has. And he's coming up next. So, grab no snack. Eat with me through the TV and come on back. on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. He and Kim are besties. He's now one of the best and biggest food influencers in the world. This man can tell you where to eat if you're going to Venezuela, or if you're going to Venice Beach, or if you're gonna be over in Jersey. Please welcome my friend, Food God. Yeah. Hello. Oh my God, you have on the chain. 
I know, it's a new one. It's for you. Luck, 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 luck. So, so he had on this, cha- no, a uh, shoe cam is one thing. Just give chain cam. Oh, for now. oh. Yes, food god, you know. That yellow stone, that is the most gorgeous, most enviable piece that I've seen since Liz Taylor, anything. Wow. No, that's a big, that's, that's a That's special, deal. that's okay, a compliment. Okay, now shoe cam. Yes, food god, yes. Oh, there we go. And, of course, he's got on his special watch. Oh, the Richard Mealy, the, the, the new new, the new hot. The new new and the very rare. A very rare, I had a fight for that one. So here's the thing, I wanted to fight with him in getting to know him because there's something about being associated with the family, the first family, Correct. that you think that you're gonna be like a total, what the Spears boy called his grandfather. That was crazy. Uh, right? Yeah, that was but crazy. This is, I have to tell you all, this is one of the nicest people that I know. His heart. Thank you. His heart is full, and he changed his name officially to Food God as opposed to JC, which is, you know. The old name. The old name. The old name. Nope, won't disrespect you. Yeah, now it's officially Food God. It's one word, which is like crazy. What does your mother call you? Well, now she's starting to call me Food God because she sees everybody else doing it, and it's been... You know, people around the world have been calling me Food God wherever we go, screaming in the streets, in the cars. When we're out, they call you Food, food God. God. No, this guy thing. is a big deal. <laughs> what do we order? What do we do? Yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's a whole new world. You know, it's Food God. His influencers are such a big thing now. It's the new celebrity. Like, I did a video on TikTok the other day, you know, and I just started TikTok. You might not even know what it is, and I got 20 million I views. I just not everybody knows, because I didn't get into it till like a week ago, and yeah. I had 20 million views on, on a video. Well, yeah, you know what? 20 million views. But you also know how to take food pictures. Like, we've been out to eat. Before you touch anything, he's adjusting plates and taking stuff right out of the way and getting the lighting correct. But it's a science. And he didn't have to do this, because a lot of the dumbbells who are friends with um, celebrities and reality people, <laughs> they don't even know how to extend their own thing. Like, you know, they're using you as a friend, use them for influence. And I'm not saying you're using them, I'm saying you're a smart one, you. Yeah. Like Bethany did that with the New York Housewives, Nene did it, you know, with Atlanta. Right. Like, you gotta get in there. Right. Yep. But a $10,000 birthday cake is unacceptable. It, it didn't start out as $10,000, guys. So I ordered a birthday cake for my birthday. I was having a party. I go to pick up this birthday cake. Kim found out the name of the baker, Divine Delicacies, called them and made the cake supersized by making a $10,000 cake instead of a $4,000 cake. That's the cake. Well, it looks good now. That's how it started. And then you wanted to drive around with it in your car. So being, you know, somebody that does a lot of videos, I asked them, you know, I asked people in the street, not even the girls. She's like, we're gonna send it later to the restaurant. I asked these guys in the street to help me move the cake. So we brought the cake. We're Guys gonna in the street. Put it. Well, they were like in the shopping mall. Look at this. Oh boy. And, and we then, were in the. Sh- <laughs> yeah, that really did happen. Food God. Oh, so it was the first. It was like one of a kind. The cake was divided in two parts and bottom heavy. And when they moved it, the whole thing just went down. It happened. It happened. Were you mad at them? Who? No, I was like shocked. And you know what? Because people videotape everything these days, I was like, I'm not gonna be the crazy person screaming. Yeah. That they're gonna get videotaped and put it all over YouTube. Yeah. I just took the breath, I dealt with it, but the next day I had an amazing birthday. They did a huge cake, DJ Khaled sang happy birthday to me. Pharrell was there at Swan in Miami, and uh, you know, they did a huge Telling Sunday. You, there's, a, there's a whole person here that, that you know, you, you gotta get into him. And wait, what's your website? So if people, do, can random people ask you, like can somebody in the back row, um, Social well, media no, I mean, my Instagram is Food God. I get like 1,000 DMs a day. Okay, so you're not um, reading all of them. I can't read all of them, but you know, we're gonna work into getting things of like where people could actually log on and, and me telling them, you know, a variety of places to go. Like I if I wanna go to Cincinnati. Yeah, it'll be like a list. I mean, working on that is like a whole list in every city of like the cool places. Have you ever been to Pappy's Barbecue in St. Louis? I've never been to St. Louis actually, so no. Mm. But that's, is it, is it something just special? shout out to Pappy's, I'm just sorry. I just... Yeah, but I did send you to the best pizza place. You definitely did. She texted I, me, I ahead. text him, I'm like, all right. I'm going out for pizza. I want there something different. Not only is the chef handsome and owns the place, 
and he has workers around him, but I like people who not just own, but you still do it. That cheese right there, no, it's not hard. He pulled it apart like gum, like eh. And uh, they Look had the Allie's, anchovies. Yeah. yeah, that was good, I know. And you've been talking about this guy for a minute now. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, this, this place is in Brooklyn. He's married. Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, you're still talking about him. Well, you, no, you brought him up. I, I Not know. this time. I saw you on a show a couple weeks ago. You were talking about it. How dare anyway, you? I'm sorry. Stop spying on me. I had me. to bring it up. Okay, so let's talk about the foods that we're gonna try today. Let's there's, go. There, there's one thing that's gross. What? Bring it in! Wow, wow. Oh, I instantly start drooling. There's one thing that's gross. What? No. Tea with cheese? Guys. And there's Listen no straws me. out here? This, I'm gonna get a mustache. No, I've been talking about this trend for a couple and of years. And now straws are illegal in it's New York? Oh, it's wait, called okay. cheese tea. Oh. No, you can't drink it with a straw. Let me tell you the secret. It's, it's, it's whipped cream and cheese and salt and everything. It goes on top of tea. But the reason it's so good and you're supposed to drink it is because you get the cold first. And you get that mustache of the sweet tea. Well, it's not that sweet today, but normally when they make it, it's sweet. What? Go ahead. It's not that. It's special. Yeah. I told you, guys. Where do you buy this? Is the new bubble tea? It's going to be the new trend. So there's places that are starting to make it. All right, I'm moving on before you talk bad this about it. This looks like a $15. <laughs> it's tea. about. It's probably like eight dollars. This is a strawberry version. They do matcha. They do everything. But this. Thing is that I'm Honey. going to try. KFC I'm is on that chicken fried chicken trend with uh, yeah, let's go. Anyway, we got two glazed, what? Oh, hot. You know, you know. Wow, it's supposed to be sweet. Anyway, it's sweet donuts with fried chicken. So anyway, I cannot wait to try this. Mmm. Oh my God. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is a meal for the whole day. You really don't need to eat after wait, you yeah, eat this. Wait, yeah, one more bite. Come on. Oh my God. Food God, you never had this? No, I just, I've been flying. I haven't been here. It just started like this. You don't thing. understand. I had it now and it's amazing. Years ago, and I forgot the name of the person mm. that had the, the sweet and then the in between. Sweet what? It, Gary Coleman, where's Norman? Norman knew. I don't know. Gary Coleman? There was somebody. Somebody invented this before, but it was a burger in between. Yeah, I know, they did that. Yes, they did that at, uh, at one of those sports arenas. That was like their whole thing. I forgot which one, but it was a burger with two donuts. Anyway, forget about that. Here, guys, this, okay. this is big. This is big. So I teamed up with TGI Fridays. It took me like five months, and we created a Food God dessert that's gonna be in every Fridays on March 17th. <laughs> it's, called, it's called Unicorn Fetty. Look at this thing. Yeah, and it's a butter cake, and it's like multi-flavored, like that ice cream with all the it's different really flavors. It's really beautiful. What is this over here? Where, where are you? Oh, well, that's lollip crushed lollipops and a color-changing sugar. Come on, and you just put not? that on right here like that. The sugar will start changing color. There's a white chocolate sauce in here, and I'm telling you, this is gonna be the most Instagrammable thing of the summer because people need some fun these days. <laughs> Everything's so stressful. How about that butter cake? Oh my God, that is good. All right, we'll be right back. Thank you, God. Well, congratulations. Okay, look. All right, so we're back. I'm trying to still savor the flavor. Anyway, um, here to show us the hottest celebrity looks for less money is our fashion expert friend, Brittany Levine. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, I'm Thank so you. happy to be with you. Who is this? This is Jonathan Sinkai, but I rented it, so oh. it goes back. Okay. But yeah, I had to show up for you. Thank you. And good little, shoes. Little jumpsuit for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna um, continue on. First yes. of all, let's start with Constance Wu. Yes, Constance Wu, okay. Constance right here, this look came right off the runway from Michael Kors. I like okay? it. So it's something that's hard to pull off, but this whole look right here, it's basically $5,000, okay? Uh -huh. So she has her top, her, the whole thing is, like I said, from the runway, and then her shoes and this crocodile bag, so hard to pull off, but we have the look for you for less. 
Okay. So Sandra, come on out, wearing that look. Oh, as usual, our yes. models are from our audience. Okay, so basically matching. What we love about this, it is hard to pull off. She's wearing no, this I love floral her trend. With it. Me too. She's her sunnies are from Claire's and her accessories. This Ann Taylor top, only $49.50. And then we have this skirt. This is from Macy's 118 French Connection. And I love her bag from Boohoo. This is $15 and her shoes. It looks like real crop. It does, but it's faux, okay? And shoes from Just Fab. The shoes are fantastic. Oh, fabulous. $39.95. Wow. So she's got her constant food florals for spring. Here we go. Okay. Thanks, Sandra. All right. Okay, um, and if you didn't hear me, all of our models are Wendy watchers who we pluck from the audience and we say, put this on. <laughs> the next celebrity we're looking at is Blake Lively, who's yes. always fashionable. I love Blake Lively, such a fashion risk taker. Okay, this coat alone is about $2,800 from Max Mara. So that's a teddy bear coat. Underneath that, she has her spring florals. This is a Russian designer, very expensive, and her Louboutins. $2,000, her favorite Louboutins. But we have this look for you for less. Those look like yeah. five seasons ago. I, with, with, I think last with season. The, with the platform. With the but we got it like, for less. No, the platform, I'm saying. Oh, yeah, shoes. right? Like, um, we have a hotter yeah. one for you. Let's bring Rachel out. Come on out, Rachel. Okay. So Rachel is basically matching. Yeah, her shoes. Uh, her shoes are stellar. Mm -hmm. This is a faux Sherpa jacket from Kohl's, $59.80. And then we have a Lulu's dress complimenting on the bottom for $80. This Bottega Veneta weave-like clutch that's so popular right now. This is also from Boohoo, under 20. And you mentioned her shoes. That's Bottega Veneta? It's, no, it's, it's imitation. Faux. Okay, right. I was oh, gonna say, faux. yes, yes. Yes, but it's the one that everyone's wearing that clutch right That'd now. That'd be like $3,000. Exactly, but no, under 20. And okay. her shoes, we love Rachel's shoes With from no DSW. Platform. No platform, there's a more stiletto, but the little embellishment, pop out your foot, Rachel, on the side. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is from DSW, $49.99. Love it. So fabulous for less. Thanks, yep. Rachel. Thanks, Rachel. Okay, our next model is Ashley, and Ashley's gonna be pulling off the Kerry Washington. Oh, yeah. Tell us about it. Oh, we love Kerry. Okay, this is full head to toe Sally LaPointe. Her pants That's alone really are $3,500, and then her bell sleeve Well, you can only top. wear them one time. They're, they, they're so standout. They're beautiful, but very expensive. But we have the look for less for you right now. How much is the top, did you say? The top is $850. So $3,500 for the pants, top $850. But let's bring out Ashley right now. She's wearing that look for less. Oh, yeah. See? Yep. Okay. See. Ashley, you look absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Her sweater is only $12 from Shein, okay? Oh. And then her pants, these gloss snakes and pants, everyone needs one of these in their closet for spring. These are $60 from ASOS. Okay, the $60. heel on the shoes. I knew you would Ash, love this. Ash, can you please just, yes, let them. I knew you would love it. Mm -hmm. These are Katy Perry for Macy's, $99. Nice so, job, Katy yes. Perry. And then and Shein And that Chanel that. looking bag. I know, the tweed. Can you pull up on that I, bag? With the I love it. Yeah, yeah, hold that hold, right hold there. It, no, let them, yeah. let the cap. Oh, Shein oh, tweed that is clutch. Gorgeous. Under $20. Look how beautiful, right? I know. I'm obsessed Wait, with it too. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. <laughs> okay. All right, and last but not least, we have our celebrity look, Priyanka Chopra. I know you love it. I know. <laughs> Priyanka's yep. here at JFK. This is her airport style look. I don't know about you guys, but I'm in sweats at the airport, so she looks amazing here. But this, the, her, her top and her pants are not that expensive. It's really her Todd's, her Cella bag that all the celebrities are wearing for two thousand dollars. Let's She's bring very out Brittany for the look for less. Come on out, Britt. Oh yeah. Okay. So, Brittany, we took this a little two-tone. She has her Zara blazer on top for eighty-nine ninety. She looks like she's born to be famous. I, th thank you. Hi, I'm Brittany. I'm telling her. H&M top, $17.99. Her culottes, our little take on those pants, those are $39.90. And then we also, Brittany also was wearing her Ray-Ban sunglasses that are next to her bag. Those are beautiful from Sunglass Hut. This bag is from Just Fab, that crocodile satchel. That's really pretty. And her shoes as well from Just Fab. And literally, I mean, this is like not even a, a lot of the price. A lot of girls wouldn't even think to put a bag that color with an outfit like this. I love it. You gotta take risks. It's only fashion. Come on, models. Sandra, Rachel, Ashley, join Brittany. Fabulous. Great, amazing. This is my friend, Brittany. For more on these looks, go to wendyshow.com. Whatever's happening next will happen, but I'm taking this home. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Stop, Jesus, I see you. All right, we're back. Everybody have a seat except for you. Hello, darling. Yes, no, I love the whole thing. Oh, thank you, monochromatic. Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm Bria from Dallas, Texas. How you doing? Yes, well, come up, come closer. Okay, darling. So everybody can stare at you, right down to your clear, beautiful yes. heels. Yes, breaking me in where I'm good. Oh. <laughs> what do you do, Bria? I'm a nurse. Okay. How is your nurse? You're the one taking care of us? I got you, baby. Oh. I'm for real, I nurture. All right, well look, we're gonna do What the Fleek. Gotcha. I'm gonna show you a picture from a movie and all you have to do is tell me the movie. Okay. Now nurses work hard, so you don't have a whole lot of time right, we work to watch fast too. Okay, well, take a look. Okay, little monkey. Okay. I need a little hit, I think I might know it. Do you know the man? I do know that man. What's his name? Eddie Murphy. Okay, and okay, and he's dressed like somebody that you work for. A doctor. Okay. Doctor Doolittle. There you go. Yay! Did it for two at the Brooklyn Trap House. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Chop House. Why does it say trap? Yeah. Look here. <laughs> did you, did you it trap. says trap there. The trap. Yeah, it, no, it's Brooklyn Chop House. We'll be right. It's cool. We'll be right we there. There's more to the story. Everything you want to know about this show is available at wendyshow.com. Wendyshow.com, wendyshow, we'll be right back, dot com. <laughs> she's an army brat, because she says she grew up everywhere. She's from, um, I forgot what you said. <laughs> she's from Atlanta, uh, Long Island, sorry, and they're from Germany. Tickets are free, wendyshow.com. I'll see you when you get here. Yeah. The thing is, my friend Food God, he's also got a new podcast for the foodie in you. Tomorrow, Drugstore Beauty Finds. Yes, that's good. I got you with the hot topics. I love you for watching today, and I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing? <coughs> nice.